Hello students, today we will learn about the different types of volcanoes. This categorization is based on the frequency of their eruption. The types are active volcanoes, dormant volcanoes and extinct volcanoes. Active volcanoes, they are presently in active state and have erupted in recent past. At present, it is believed that there are 500 known active volcanoes. About 20 of these volcanoes may erupt at any time. Few of them are at a state of permanent eruption. For example, Mount Strampoli in the island of Sicily, it is named as Mediterranean Lighthouse because it have the nature of continuous eruption. This picture is shown here. Another active volcano in Italy, it is Mount Etna. Pinatubo in Philippines and Mono Loa in Hawaii are also examples of active volcanoes. The second categorization is dormant volcanoes. They have not erupted in recent historical period, but they erupted millions of years before. They are regarded as sleeping volcanoes and can become active at any time. For example, Mount Kilimanjaro of Africa, Mount Vesuvius in Italy are considered as active, but they erupted in recent past. Now there is no chance for eruption recently. That's why they are considered as a dormant volcanoes. In the islands of Philippines and Japan, these island groups are always expecting for volcanic eruptions means they are prone to volcanic eruption. So these regions have a number of dormant volcanoes. And the third categorization is extinct volcanoes. These types of Volcanoes not erupted in the present geological period and there is no chances for further eruption. Examples are Mount Aconcagua in South America. This name is very familiar for you. We have learned in 7th standard. Then Mount Kenya in Africa. Mount Fujiyama in Japan is an example of dormant volcano. And Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania in the continent of Africa is an example of extinct volcano. This map shows the world distribution of volcanoes. So you can find the boundaries of the tectonic plates here. And these volcanoes are also located along the boundaries of the tectonic plates. All over the world there are to uh, different areas for the location of this volcanic belt. So the first one is a Circum Pacific Belt. That term is very familiar for you. Around the Pacific Ocean. That means uh, bordered by the Asian continent, Australian continent and here by North American and South American continent. Uh, there are number of active volcanoes also. So this region, it is in a circular pattern. That's why it is named as a Circum Pacific Belt. So here, this Circum Pacific Belt, it is always experiencing volcanic eruption. So the main regions are along the Andes Mountain. And this mountain it is prone to volcanic eruption along the boundaries of a Rockies or Western Cordilleras in the North American continent. Here the islands of Japan. This Japan island actually it is formed by the volcanic eruption only. This is the highest parts of the islands which is formed by the volcanic eruption. And here island groups of Philippines. This uh, Philippines island groups also formed by the continuous volcanic eruptions only. And that means uh, 
these mountains they are uh, from the ocean floor they are having the height of 4000 or 5000 meters and their peaks only emerging above the water level they are the islands actually they are volcanic peaks and here the island groups of indonesia why these regions have number of volcanoes because they are along the boundaries of the two different tectonic plates here eurasian tectonic plate and here it is pacific plate so here pacific plate is going below the eurasian tectonic plate in the plate boundary melting of the uh, tectonic plate is taking place and that leads to the formation of volcanoes along the plate boundaries here there is another belt that is the mid world belt the the boundary between africa and europe indo australian plate and eurasia this boundary is also prone to volcanic eruption here mount etna mount strampoli and the andaman nicobar island groups here there is one active volcano it is named as a barren island all these are included in the mid world mountain belt so here there are alps mountains then himalayas and there is central mountain system in the U europe and asia all these are part of the central mountain belt and that region formation of young fall mountain is taking place those regions are prone to volcanic eruption and earthquakes